Here we are, Daytona, round number one of the ISCRA Castro Cup Series. P2 London's on the pole today, the number 99 fast and off forward. And we're going to go down trackside for your command. Drivers, start your engines! Command given the drivers start rolling off. We're going to get over to our end race reporter. For the number 44 Toyota, it's Tony Blazer. Tony Blazer, Travis Walker, up in the booth. You got a copy? Now, uh, your car was fast in practice, but you're starting 16th on the field today. Do you think you got what it takes to get to the front here in 20 laps? Yeah, Daytona is a very fast and fast pace racetrack. Anything can happen at this place. I think we got a good package to Wednesday. Now, while you're in the Dodge and the shootout races, switching from Dodge to Toyota in just a week, you still think you got a good shot? Um, Dodge is an underrated package. I'm on my all right, we're going to let you go as the green flag is waving. Uh, we'll probably talk to you at the end of this if you win it. All right, bye. And they're racing from Daytona. P.G. London looks to take an early lead here, entering the back straight away. D.J. Kirk comes up the inside now, running a, the battle is for second place. Inside lines really starting to make the move. Here comes Taylor Oder. Kirker to the back bumper of London. Are we going to see him a pass for the lead here? Kirker stays tucked in behind. It is now the top three and about to be top four. Single file. As they roll him down the back straight away. That inside group's really starting to move. Here comes Kirker and Oder down to the inside. Kimball doesn't have enough room to get down there. Here comes the 56. Now, he was not in the uh, in the shootout race, but he is just now starting. That is Chase Emerson in the 56 machine. And he is making great moves to get to the front. As Kirker leads a lap. As the number two, Dylan Young. He was on a hard charge towards the front. Could not get there. He slipped up track into the outside groove. Here comes Taylor Oder going to make his move. He will be followed by Chase Emerson. Emma White slips up track. Opens the door for Mitchell Smith. One third owner of... Smith, Becker Smith, Wheeler Racing. One of three Dodges in the field, of course. Our in race reporter piloted the Tony Blazer, piloted the 77, which was the Becker Smith Wheeler Racing entry in the shootout race. That was the only Dodge in that field. Did pretty well, and uh, looks like Smith's starting to come up here. Towards the field as Oder leads, Emerson second, Smith is third, look at this, Jordan Davis fourth, Becker's fifth, followed by, followed by teammate and other third owner, Nathan Wheeler, as Jordan Davis now dips to the inside of Mitchell Smith. He wants to take third position away, he will bring Becker and Wheeler with him, as there goes Emerson to the lead, the number 56, Napa Toyota, to the point, crossing the line, five here to begin lap number five of 20. 
Becker looks to make his move on Davis. Checks up, comes back into the correct groove. And speaking of our in-race reporter, he is right there on the inside group, right behind Nathan. That Napa 44 Toyota is making the moves. It goes Toyota, Chevy, Dodge, Dodge, Chevy. Chase Emerson showed up on time as the start, as no spots are available for this season, but you can register for next season. As 23 cars will make this season start, who knows how many will next year. Emerson leads coming up on the slow car. That's the 24. And he's going to whoa up Nathan Wheeler. Big time. Is there a problem with the 24? Who is that? And the 14's off pace, along with the 7, the 29. That is Zach Campbell. He's in last place, and he's just getting shuffled around back there. Is that everyone's trying to find a way to get around him? No clue why he is going this slow. But it is not good. Daytona is not going to be his place to win. Chase Emerson gets shuffled around a little bit. He is no longer your leader as what happened to him. Is it the 29 that caught him up? He's battling with teammate Tony Blazer now, who was our in-race reporter in the number 44 Napa Toyota Camry. Put the number three to the lead. Becker, the Dodge, is in second now, battling for the lead. He's going to take the inside groove. Here comes Oder with a nice run. Not going to be able to get there. Jordan Davis closes the gap. This race just got a whole lot more serious, but with the fact that pit stops will play an important factor in how this race ends, anything can happen. And speaking of pit stops, your front three leaders are coming in now. That is Becker, Davis, and Oder. They all get down to pit road speed. Let's see if anybody else is going to come down pit road. Looks like just about the entire field has come down pit road. Who's going to win the race off pit road? Chris Smith, but remember he's a lap down. The seven car is a lot down as well. Becker's right back out of his pit stop. Odor's going to come out second. Davis, Black, and then the third battle. Ooh. Lots of action going on on pit road. Two cars did not pit, it looks like. So we go try and find your leader in this whole mess of people. There he is. Coming up on to the number seven, Cameron Gilson was not in the shootout race. Managed to find a ride finally.
Becker leads over Oder Davis, Young, Dylan Young, and White. And Oder starting to catch up to Becker. They should have to make one more pit stop. And I'm sorry about the background noise, everyone. Oder just gained a lot. He went from 2.09 seconds to about the lead in less than a lap. Comes up, almost hits Becker, goes to the inside. He's got plenty of room. Taking your lead away. It is now Taylor Oder the point. Dylan Young, of course, the winner of the sh shootout. He won segments two and three. Has a fast car. He's running a shootout car here today. And is really looking strong here. Becker makes his move. Young up to second. I mean third. Young up to third, has the run coming up underneath Oder. Here comes Emma White along with him. Jordan Davis is right there following teammate Emma White. And Becker gives the room to Dylan Young, but Emma White's going to get down to there. A little door scraping going on. Davis wants the lead back. Young wants the lead again. Emma White leading again. As they're going to come up on the lap traffic car, the number 14 of Chris Smith, he's going to go low, clogging up that inside group, going to let the outside go. This could be the break for Dylan Young. No, they stick right with him. Are they going to be able to make the pass? There goes the inside. And the 24 is up there too. Emma White looks high. As a little contact goes on between the 24 and the 14. Oh, the two comes. The 14 looked to have come down on the two of Dylan Young. Emma White gets shoved up to high. But if these two can just get together and go, they can catch up to the front. But here comes an enormous run by the 55. He's got to check up. Here we go again. This is still going to be anybody's ball game at the end of this. And these th three cars alone could easily catch up to the lead pack. Look at this. They're already flying up onto Becker. Emma White makes her move on Dylan Young. That's the battle for fourth. She's going to bring the 55. Along with her, that is Joseph Clark, was not in the shootout, but he did manage to make this race. Pierce to the bottom of Emma White now. The peak number 55 looks to go to the front. Going to take fifth that lap. Now he's got the run. He's got a whole line of cars coming with him, though. Young to the bottom. Becker's going to cut him off. Fifty six of Chase Emerson. He's on his way to the front as well. But Joseph Clark has the run in the number fifty five peak Toyota Camry. Sorry about that. He's up to fourth. These two are really going to have to work together to catch up to the five of Oder and the three of Davis if they want a shot at winning this. Look at this. Wheeler up now. He's up in the fifth position. He's going to bring Kevin Boland along with him, DJ Kirker. To the outside of the 29, they're both going to go. 
For some reason, that 29 is not as competitive as he was the other day. Maybe he'll have better luck next weekend when we go to Phoenix as here we go back on the pit road. Clark is in. Davis is in. No, I don't know if Davis is in. Clark is in. Becker's in. Wheeler is in. Davis is in. Oder is in. So we're going to wait to see who's going to win the race off of Pay Road. DJ Kirker has just pulled in. Here comes Peachy London. And it's going to be Davis. But boy, oh boy, the top five doesn't change. Stays the same and bunches them right back up. Could the number three go to Victory Lane? Anything's possible at Daytona. Like Taylor, uh, Tony Blazer said, anything is possible at Daytona. But he has some hard-charging, fast-paced cars coming up behind him. Like the 55 of Joseph Clark, the 77 of DJ Beck, uh, Devin Becker, the 5 car of Taylor Oder, the 65 of Nathan Wheeler. Kirker's fast today. Blazer has gone from 16th to 8th, so he's made up 8 positions. And here comes Joseph Clark. The 55, Peak Oil, Toyota Camry. Oh, Blazer drops out of the top 10 off that pit stop. They are all bunched up now. Is there a caution? They seem to have slowed up. Pace car is out. What has happened? We have a caution. What happened? Let's see if we can figure out what has happened. We do not know. Let's go see the back of the field. There's three cars, but no one seems to have any damage. As we still try to figure out what happened. What has happened is really hard to tell. Did something happen between the 2 and the 27 and 56? No. But this is going to set up for a very interesting finish. Guys, uh, let's see if we can get Tony Blazer. Back on the line and see if he saw anything out there. Ah. Tony Blazer, Travis Walker up in the booth, you got a copy? Tony Blazer, Travis Booth up in the walker. You got a copy? Yep, what do you got? Uh, we're under caution here at Daytona. Do you see anything going on back there? Not really. Uh, yeah. You got a strong car. 
You got a strong card. You had her up to 8th here at one point. That seems to have been your high point. Do you think we're going to see you up towards the front anymore here tonight coming off this caution? Going green-white checkered? Well, I'm going to try this out one more time and see what happens. Uh, that depends. I'm also getting word from NASCAR that they might just call the race as they cross the start finish line here. But you never know with them. Here we are. We are on lap number 20. We are on lap 20. Of 20. The pace car is still on the track with lights a blazing. If they end it now. You will finish 13th with 19 cars on the lead lap. That ain't good, buddy. That ain't good. Uh, I've tried so many times in one year. And, it's hard to come back. And we're heading off to Rockingham next weekend. Well, you got your good buddy, Joseph. You got your good buddy and teammate up here, Joseph Clarkson, in second place. Do you think that'll bring your boss a nice, happy, you know, happy gift? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be happy. I know one man who would be happy if they called this race right now. Jordan Davis in the number three good wrench machine. That Chevy is leading this race. Now, wouldn't it be a sight to see the number three back in victory lane at Daytona? Uh, uh, I can't describe it right now. That's, that's, just, that's just race not that amazing. Well, as you said, anything can happen at Daytona. And, uh... It looks as if they are going to call the race under caution. Which will give you 13th in points. And a semi-solid finish. But that will give, if they call it, which I believe they will. Lights are still a-blazing. Lap, uh, lap 0 of 20. NASCAR has called the race. Under caution, it is Jordan Davis, your winner in the number three good wrench machine. Your teammate, your teammate, Joseph Clark, finishes second in the peak oil, number 55. Devin Becker is third. Fourth, Taylor Oder. Fifth, shootout winner, Dylan Young. Sixth, Nathan Wheeler. Seventh, Emma White. Top ten finish for the females. Your other teammate, the 56 of Chase Emerson, is eighth. Eleventh is Will Kirker, 10th, the other female in the field. That is Sawyer Black. So there is your top 10. You take 13th. And uh, how do you feel after this race? I just gotta, I just gotta um, thank him. Um, well, Eric, uh, Jordan Davis did a very nice job. Thank you, just like who gave Michael Walker Racing a very good finish. I can't wait to tell the boss after this event. And uh, you think you got good luck coming here at Rockingham next week? Rockingham Burger Track. I want to win it so bad. All right. Well, we are heading to Rockingham next, and uh, I guess we'll catch up with you there. Hey, buddy. I'm off. I'm out. Yeah. Imagine that. Could you ever imagine a repeat of history? Jordan Davis drives the famed number three Goodrent Chevy Toyota. The black number three Chevy, Chevy Goodrent Chevy. And as same as in 2001, the race ends under caution. I mean, not 2001, but the same as the year that Dale Earnhardt won in the number three. It ends under caution. And Dylan Young, is uh, Jordan Davis, is going to victory lane in the Goodrent Chevrolet, just like Dale Earnhardt did. Under caution to finish Daytona. Sad way to go. 
but it's just how the things work here. We head off to Rockingham next week. Should be a very interesting race. Lots of good action goes on there. For the ISCRA, for Castrol Cup Series, for Dodge, Ford, Chevy, Toyota, my name is Travis Walker. You have just seen the ISCRA Daytona 500. Signing off.